लाइन आइटमाइजर इज अ फीचर और एक्शन इवेंट प्रोवाइडेड बाय पब्लिक कनेक्ट इनसाइड इट्स वर्क फ्लो टू सेपरेट सेम टाइप ऑफ वैल्यूज फ्रॉम अ ग्रुप ऑफ डेटा और अरे ऑफ डेटा इन अ कॉमा सेपरेटेड वैल्यूज इन अ सिंगल लाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू फैच ऑर्डर डिटेल्स ऑफ एन ऑर्डर फ्रॉम एन ई कॉमर्स स्टोर और फ्रॉम अ फॉर्म लाइन आइटमाइजर इट इज गोइंग टू सेपरेट द वैल्यूज और द नेम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स इन अ सिंगल लाइन एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू सेपरेट द स्टॉक डिटेल्स और द क्वान्टिटीज इन अ सिंगल लाइन देन द प्राइज इज इन अ सिंगल लाइन एंड दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ टू यूज लाइन आइटमाइजर इन साइड पैब्लिक एन एक्ट so it is a very useful feature let me show you how you can use it so guys this is the dashboard of pavli connect and here i have created this workflow showing named as how to use line itemizer okay and inside this you can see in the trigger i connected jot form application and i have received a form response by making the connection by by this webhook url and the form response is this you can see here so it is a order form for ordering different kind of products so let me show you the form this was the form by which i have fetched the response here uh, any customer can select these products from this list all right and make his order so this is the response we have received and in this response you can see this is the name of the customer and the things related to customer and the amount and all the things are here right so this is how you can capture an order uh, from jot form right now uh, you can see here in this response we have different labels for different things for the uh, amount we have a different label for the product id we have a different label and for the product name we have a different label for the unit price for the currency and one by one you can see different labels for each and everything related to the products and their quantity and their prices right now how to separate these things uh, from these labels so that you can arrange these things in a single line uh, sing uh, different lines of same things so that you can use that lines in a different application like a invoicing application or a messaging service in which you are sending confirmation messages all right so to separate out these things first of all you need to capture this response from the form in advanced format all right so if you want to use line itemizer you have to capture this response in advanced format so you have to toggle this simple response button to off first then i am going to click on recapture webhook response click on yes all right and now i am going to capture the response again so just to set up this automation we are capturing the response again so i am making a demo order again so you can see it started waiting for the response now i am going to open the form again and here let me fill the customer details as this zakir khan is our customer this is the email id this is the phone number all right and he is selecting the products he want to buy like this and i am going to submit this form you can see the form has been submitted let me show you in public connect uh, how the response will look like and in the advanced format you can see in this my products products label you will get the product details now as this so this is called the array of data format so now we have the array of data and it has the quantity the products name the currency and all the things in this array format now you can use line item as a here in the section step so just click here and from this choose a field search for data transformer search for data transformer all right and in the action event you will find line itemizer function so it will convert line items into comma separated values or text so like this click on connect and in the line items array i am going to select this label this my products products label so to select this label you just have to click here and it will show you the first step in the drop down and by clicking on it you will find the label here in the drop down this is it select it so you can see the label got selected and we have the data here like this now click on save and send test request and let's see what happens and now you can see here 
line itemizer has separated out the same kind of values in comma separated values like in the product name we got the products in a single line separated by commas here you can see the product prices unit prices separated by commas here is the currency details here are the quantity details and here are the subtotals so now you can use this data in a invoicing application or in a messaging application or in a billing application any other wherever you want to use this data in this format so this is how you can use line itemizer and make your work easier by pavli connect guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel